Chuck. Hi. Or Chuck it! I do have a wet saw. If I'm cutting a lot of brick or a lot of tile, it's perfect. But if I'm just cutting one block like we did on uh, today's project, all I really need is a chisel and a hammer. I'm gonna show you how to cut block with just a $3 chisel instead of a $300 wet saw. You'll get a cut that will work just fine. The method is called scoring. Just like with our drywall, if you haven't seen the drywall scoring video, go look at it. But we're gonna score the brick. And it's one little tap, or two little taps, all along the line that you want to cut. There's my line, I'm gonna flip it. I'm just gonna keep working my way around the brick. Scoring all the sides. Some of the brick guys who are in a hurry and use this method they only score the side that's gonna show out. So they only score the pretty side. I like to score them all. I think it saves me time in the long run, and I like a better seal. You do wanna have the block or the brick on something soft that moves like grass or a pile of sand, something that's gonna absorb some of the vibrations because you only want it to work on fracturing the small piece that you're on. They've been doing stonework for thousands of years before electricity, before a diamond tipped wet saw. There you go. Actual time, it's gonna take you about a minute and a half to go around, um, but considering how much time it would take you to unpack your wet saw, fill it up with water, drag an extension cord. If all you have to do is cut one brick, this way is going to save you lots of time. And if you're just doing a little project, lots of money. It's all about results. Like the results, like the video.